Mars, discovered since the recorded history, even ancient civilizations referred to it as a red planet. It is the fourth planet from the Sun, but it is the second smallest planet. Still, Mars is quite a big place. The diameter of Mars is half that of Earth, but it still has a similar dry land surface area as Earth, simply because 70% of Earth is covered in oceans. But it wasn't always like that for Mars. Mars as well likely had oceans, meaning its dry land was smaller. These old Martian oceans spark many more questions. At first, in 1965, with first close-up images of Mars, we thought that there is not a bit of water. But as more satellites and better cameras were introduced on Mars, turns out Mars actually has water. And in its distant history, at about 4.3 billion years ago, when Mars was only about 200 million years old, there likely was an ocean covering one-third of the Martian surface. That was revealed because satellites not only captured actual water, but as well captured old shorelines of Mars, which were on the similar level throughout Mars. And that could have only been done if Mars had a big chunk of water, in this case a big ocean. So that's pretty strong evidence that it had water. But there is also the fact that there were as well found river valleys and lake shorelines in which were found rocks, which are only associated with water, so we have strong evidence. Let's say we go back in time and visit Mars when it was only 200 million years old. And for a break we wanted to swim in the ocean of Mars or maybe even a lake or a river, so you jump into the water and start swimming. Interestingly, that would not be that much different from just swimming on Earth. But while jumping into the water due to the low gravity of Mars, you would create a much bigger splash into the water, which would last a few times more than on Earth. Also considering that while jumping on Mars, you could jump at least two times higher than you would on Earth, so this splash into the water would be quite big. Again, because Mars has only 38% the gravity of Earth. Water of this ocean could be possibly a bit muddy, because of the Martian sand, but at times it would be as well kind of bluish. Diving into the water, do not expect to see much because, well, it wouldn't be very clear. But in the best possible scenario, you could see the floor. So throughout the whole process of swimming, you would likely need to be inside diver's suit with oxygen, not only underwater, but as well as on the surface of Mars. Because Mars's atmosphere was many times thicker than it currently is, but, same as it is now, it only consists of carbon dioxide, which could result in a death within few minutes. Still, at this time, even Earth had a similar deadly atmosphere. Also, the interesting thing is that you would likely not even need a pressurized suit with good temperature because, well, in low pressure environments, human body is in danger. But since the atmosphere was thicker than it is now, and Mars also had water flowing on its surface, meaning the temperature was likely above 0 Celsius, maybe even around 5 Celsius on average, which is actually pretty good. And it also means that human body would just need oxygen to survive in Mars. So it would be quite pleasant to swim in the ocean of Mars. So since the conditions were pretty good on Mars, it could be possible that Mars as well as Earth gave a rise to some form of life, likely same as on Earth, a single celled life, pretty simple life yet still life. So just maybe with the right instruments you could observe alien life that once existed. Of course you would need to know where the life is. Maybe it would be in depths of the ocean or maybe in some small salty lake. So all in all, going back in time to see early Mars, you would see some insane differences. From a very promising and alive land that it once was, it turned into a wasteland, completely dead. If its atmosphere wasn't stripped out, upon arrival at today's Mars, we could have possibly seen our alien neighbors.